So scheduling, we're not gonna delve too deeply into, this is what we sort of hopped over. Um, so we're doubling back a little bit, but when we use scheduling, I, I would suggest find whatever scheduling software um, you're most comfortable with. We here at Scribe use Gantt PV. Uh, Tim has just um, uh, kindly linked uh, to the scheduling uh, module. As you can see, it's very small because scheduling is something that is sort you sort of all have to automatically do it. Um, if you have something like Gantt PV or some kind of um, scheduling software that you're familiar with, um, that makes things a whole lot easier. Um, once a project is vetted, this is why this falls into this thing, you'll have like these time estimates, right? Or you'll have an idea of how long something will take. And what you have to take into account is two things. Um, calendrical time, which is how much time, you know, including holidays, weekends, you know, and possible sick days for people and things like that, uh, something will take. And then the actual effort um, that whatever task, um, be it copy editing, typesetting, and so on, um, might take. Um, so the effort is what determines your budget and what determines like, okay, if this is a 40 hour typeset, then you know it's gonna cost this much. We have to solve that problem somehow, some way. Um, and then calendrical time will actually determine when you'll get things done. Building the schedule up front helps you get an idea of how long the project is going to take and if there's going to be any issues. Because sometimes you might think, okay, I can have this project done by, I don't know, June. But then once you build out the schedule and build out appropriate time and whatnot, and you actually see it, you might realize that there's, you know, that there's an issue. You're not going to have it done in June. You're going to have it done in November. Right, because there's holidays and the person types any and won't be able to start here and so on and so forth. So building the schedule early on helps you see those problems and sort of helps you um, visualize the, the rest of the process. Um, and so um, you'll see that in those guidelines, keep holidays in mind. Uh, remember that um, oftentimes people don't work on holidays. And so if you have something that's supposed to take three days, but that falls right near a three day weekend, you're gonna to need to push that out a little bit um, longer, right? Um, also, once you build the schedule, check in with your author to see if they're gonna be able to not only meet deadlines, um, but if, um, for example, in our case, we send our schedules to clients and tell them like, this is when we'll have things done, is this okay with you? And sometimes we'll, a lot of the times we'll say, hey, that's fine, that's great, that's actually faster than I thought. Uh, but sometimes they'll say, hey, we need it to be a little bit faster um, because we need this done. And then you can make your tweaks uh, there. Always build in buffer time. Um, I would always give that as a suggestion uh, because you never know what can happen. And um, I don't know if it's actually chaos theory, but whatever can go wrong does. Um, so it, it will. Um, so always build in space for you to be able to you know wiggle out of the situation because remember that's not you trying to take advantage of the author that's you ensuring that the project is done on time um, and that your word um, is true right um, and then once you have everything completed make sure that you share the schedule with the people who are going to be doing the work right Murphy's law there we go thank you right uh, I don't know what, oh, chaos theory but anyway um, when you think about it you have to you know share this information with the people that you're uh, working with because they need to put it into their schedules right so again remember how i said in the beginning once you have um you know, like you vetted something and you want to like talk to us about it um or if you're going to use us it's always good to let us know when you're expecting things back you know and so on and so forth so that way we know um how to set things up here on our end um, so just like you would do it with, you know, an outside person, if you have your team working with you, let them know when you're expecting things and when things are going to be done to see if it's even fe feasible, because sometimes you might say like, oh yeah, this will be typeset in two weeks. And then, you know, your typesetter is gone for those two weeks. It's like, oh, wait a second. We may need to readjust or rethink, uh, things. Um, and always be willing to readjust your schedule. Don't like get married to it and say like, this has to be done here right always be willing to say okay if i have to move it around make things a little tighter a little looser then that's fine um so yeah so does anybody have any questions on scheduling or any concerns or worries or any maybe suggestions or ideas that maybe we haven't discussed okay 